So he's just 14 years old. He's a third former at Arden High, and he has already written two books. Two! Eh? And the second one is The Brave Little Ant. Well, it's more than The Brave Little Ant. It's The Brave Little Ant and the Princess of the Butterflies, The Intruders. Eh? He's Jonathan Dixon, and he's right beside me. Sir John, well on. Morning, welcome to Smile Jamaica. How are Good you? Good morning. I'm happy to be here. It is great to have you with us. Jonathan, 14 you write two books already? <laughs> eh? Why you wanted to write a book in the first place, and how did you know that you had this quality and skill that you went write something that I want to read or anybody else want to read? So the first part, why you wanted to write it in the first place? Well, in grade four, my teacher, Miss Hewitt, she gave us an assignment to do on writing a story that was similar to what you'd see in the children's zone. So she was so impressed and pleased with, with the first story, Myself as a River, that she, she, she told me that I should publish it in the children's zone. I showed it to my father, and he said that I should make it into a book. Oh, Myself as a River. As a River, which is this one right here. Yeah, that's so the first book. So what you tell us in that one? What you tell us about Myself as a River? Well, the main story is Myself as a River, but there's also a few other short stories in the book as well. So when you say Myself as a River, you are pretending that you are the river? Yeah, similar to what you'd see in... Yeah, but where did that come from? Where did that idea come from? Because I would have been to Dunn's River before, so it just inspired me to make a, a fun story that anyone can enjoy. Fantastic. And how... How did your family and your friends, how, how did they respond to you when they heard you wrote a book and um, how impressed were they? They were impressed. Everyone was very excited for me. Yep. That was the first one. Yes. The Brave Little Ant and the Princess of the Butterflies, the Intruders. How long between books? When did you write this one? Well, in 2018, I started to write it. But like, due to COVID, my original goal was to write a book each year, but due to COVID, it was a setback. Okay. So, so I wasn't able to. And you did this one this year? What do you tell us in this one? Well, the story is about, well, the, the Brave Little Ant story, it's about um, this ant. He becomes friends with a boy named Albert, and they go on an adventure to try and save his colony from an attacking army of ants. Jonathan, where did that come from? I mean, all right, so you explained the first one, you went to a river and stuff. Yeah. Well, I don't think you were ever an ant. So where did where <laughs> that, where that come from? Where did these ideas come from? This is brilliant. Where did the ideas come from? Well, I wanted to write something better this time. I wanted the story to be more um, imaginative so that you can really see what's playing out inside of your head. So I really wanted the ant to be the main thing because, you know, he's so small, yeah. so you wouldn't expect him to be friends with a, with a little boy. Yeah. Yeah. Gosh, Who did the, the graphics and, the, and, and the, the drawings and stuff for you? Or you did that yourself too? No, no. Oh, so you got help with that? Yes, I did. Fantastic. Um, the, the ant survived, or the little boy step on him or anything like that? <laughs> no, no, no. So the ant survived the book? Yeah, it's like, remember, it's a kid's book, so oh, we right. can't have the ant um, losing. He's actually a very engaging story, and I'm really proud of it. Yeah, man. And the princess of the butterflies, the intruders, that's, 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 that's a follow-up follow on the ant, or this is just a totally different story? Oh, it's a story from the first book. It's, um, it's a continuation, more like a closing to the... Butterfly Princess, okay. Princess of the Butterflies. Is that the third one yet? Yeah, I have. It's going to be bigger and better than this one. It's a so, follow-up to the Brave So hold on, so you said you wanted to do one every year. You got stuck a bit. So 2018, this is what, 2021 or 2022? 2021. So the 2022 one ready yet? Hmm. Um, I'm working on it. It's not going to be this year. 2022 soon done, Jonathan. Mm -hmm. You say you're going to write one every year. This one's for, this one... Because so I'm going to launch the, this The week. next one is for 2023 then? Yeah, I'm going to launch this one this week. Okay. Yeah. Who do you want to read it? Just youngsters like yourself or you want big people like me read it to answer? Well, it's really for anyone, but it's a children's book. So 
Yeah. It's really for the younger kids. But the third one, or you can't tell me it? I can't tell you that yet. You can't give me any idea for the story, or you can't it's tell me It's going to be a sequel to The Brave Little Hands. Oh, so you, you know what you're doing then? Yes. You get any help at all writing? You say, Daddy, Daddy, I'm try, I trying to say this, and I'm not certain how to put it. You get any, any help like that? Well, yeah, of course. My parents were very... Um, my parents were very involved in the making of the book. It's my story, of course, but they also helped me along the way. How did they feel about um, their young son doing so well in, in writing stuff? How did they feel about that? Well, I know that they're very proud of me. Yeah. What's your favorite subject? My favorite subject is literature. Which don't surprise me because you're going to write two books already. <laughs> what you want to be when you leave school? Um, I want to be a TV producer. A television producer? Yeah, and a journalist. And a journalist? Yes. I love you, you know, because you could have said presenter, <laughs> yeah, come from a job, but you didn't say that, because you know that does tell you to leave the studio right away. Oh. But you, it seems like you, you, you can achieve anything you want. So TV, why a producer, though? Why not a presenter? Why a producer? Well, what you want to produce? Have any idea yet what you want to produce? Like, I could make stories just like the Brave Little Ants and publish them into real shows and movies to get people engaged. Yeah, that was so good. How difficult was it to, to get this published? I guess mommy and daddy helped you with this too, right? Yes. It, was, yeah. it, was it easy or tough? How much you sell it for, by the way? It's for $1,000 per copy. You sell any yet? Not yet. It's going well, to I, I be launched going, on Wednesday. Well, I'm buying the first one. I can buy that one now. <laughs> huh? um, or I'll pay for it and you send it after the launch. You'll get your copy. After the launch. How much it is? 1,000. 1,000 exactly? Yes. All right. So, all right. So I'll pay for it, and when you launch, you send for it. Eh? All right. And when the third one, you send that to. But it's only like the third one going to be more expensive, guys. So, yeah. Don't. <laughs> it's going to be better. It's going to be worth it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. Going to school now? Um, You're going to school now, or you leave here, right? Yes. Anybody you want to look in that camera and say hi to at school, miss, sir, anybody, friends, daddy, mommy, anybody? <laughs> Well, look so in that camera right here and, and, and say it. I want to say hi to my classmates, um, 9 2. Um, I want to say hi to. Hmm? Come on. To my mother and my sister at home and everyone else watching. I have to say thank you. Okay, all right. I want to say thank you too for coming. When okay. is the launch of the book, by the way? It is. Um, on Wednesday. Wednesday, the day after tomorrow here? Yes. Anybody invite? Oh, that's it. Anybody invited to it or is just you alone going to be there? Anybody no, it's go? going to be held at Meadowbrook Preparatory. You used to go Meadowbrook Preparatory? Yeah, right? I used to go there. All right. So you're going back to your roots. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. And say hi to the family. I love you, man. You're doing, you're doing brilliantly. And I know you're going to be one of the greatest authors in life. Jonathan Dixon. <laughs> Thank you. Third former at Arden High. Um, the Brave Little Ant. Eh? Love it. That's it for off the shelf. After the break, we get an overflow flow from Jason Mighty. That makes sense a while ago. Well, we'll soon find out whether that makes sense or not. Soon come.